to maintain any computing device, we have to have a schedule. For example, a car. You will maintain it, you will do the service six to eight months. Similarly, this computing device also, whether it is a computer or a laptop or a palm top, tablet or any other, you know, any device or electronic device, we need it to run perfectly for a long time. For that, we need to have a proper plan and schedule for the maintenance. We want it to run for a longer time. So what do we do? How do we plan it? First thing to know about is a maintenance is of two types. Preventive maintenance and corrective maintenance. Preventive maintenance, if something can happen, stop it beforehand. That is, if the dust is an adversary to your computer, try to clean it before or make the surrounding so that dust comes lesser. And corrective means if something has happened, how to come out of that situation, how to repair it. So first, we'll start with the day, day wise. So every day you wake up, you do your daily activities. Similarly, daily what you have to do is, you have to clean up your email inbox. Email is what every one of us uses, everyone. So we get number of number of uh, email. And if you have any email that has an attachment which is important, just save it. Coming to a week, weekly maintenance. So seven days or 10 days, what maintenance you have to uh, perform? You have to clean your keyboard, keyboard. Or I can, I can tell you, or let me suggest you all the parts of the computer which are possible. Monitor cleaning, keyboard cleaning, mouse cleaning, CPU printer, if it is possible that you can, you can clean the CPU, not always possible with everyone. The printer, because print, printers, they are electromechanical, they are, you know, peripheral devices. And, you know, small dust or any kind of activity can hamper the workability. In a computer or any mobile, the data is very important. So the important thing is to back up your data. How to back up your data? Why to back up, back up your data? You can, you can transfer it to an external drive. Because if you lose data, what is the, what is the use of that laptop? And because this is a computing device, it is going to be malfunctioning sometime. It will be. So better is to always have a backup and then you can retrieve it anytime some disaster or some malfunctioning happens. When we talk about monthly maintenance, that is in 30 days, what you have to do is you might be having a lot of photographs. Just it can be and the documents, if it is personal, it is official, transfer it. Please don't just fill your drive. Organize photos into your folders and albums. Then you have a download folder, temporary folder, or temporary internet file folder. There are so many folders in your, in your computer, in your operating system. So clean up this download folder. Clean up your this uh, temporary file, internet file, and even uh, your recycle bin. The recycle bin is like the you know waste bag in your in your house. What do you do? You don't fill it up. You can you need to clean it every day or every second day in your house. Similarly, if you have 10 GB and you have clean you have deleted 2 GB, still 10 GB will be seen until you delete it from recycle bin. It will not be shown as 8 GB. So what programs and application you are not using? You are not using at all. Maybe you have you know installed it for some time for some use. Uninstall it, clean it. There are disk cleaner software. Try to run this disk cleaner software because the disk need to be as less as least overloaded as possible. You have to ensure that. And run full system virus scan because virus is very dangerous to your data, to your computer, to your internet, to, to your network. So there are so many antiviruses there. So we have spams, you know, there are so many things. So it is advisable to clean your system. What you would do in an on an yearly basis, that is called as annual maintenance. So you have contact list. This contact list can be your phone. This contact list can be your email. All these contact lists, you know now that you have you have not been using or you won't use it for a, for a long time. In operating system, what happens? You have bugs. There are problems 
and in due course of time people try to find out or the, that this is the problem in your operating system or some some uh, fix fix has been done so how do you how do you install that fix those operating system when people when they do you have to update your operating system so whenever there is an there is an update coming the first thing you have to do is update your operating system and operating system updation along with the antivirus software renewal i am because people are taking it for 3 years you know but the thing is sometimes you just have for one year and some sometimes you are getting explanation or some notice that please renew it renew it or you just ignoring it no you have to update you have to renew your antivirus and as as i was talking about backup data let us let us see that 